Children, this is your bus stop. Get out of here. Uh, are we there yet? Where all did we end up? I don't know my way around this town at all. You shouldn't have been messing around with a lighter in our old house. So what if I started a small fire? A small fire? You burned down our parents' house. That's why they kicked us out of the home. I did it by accident. They should have forgiven me. There's no forgiveness for this kind of thing, Mikey. I'm so hungry right now. We need to find a place to sleep and also eat. All because of you, Mikey. I'm sorry. It's my fault. But it's all in the past. We need to look for someone who can take us to a new home. Who cares about us? We're just poor little kids. Hmm, that might help us. We can push the pity button to make us feel sorry for ourselves. That way we can get food. So you want to live as a parasite? I think that's a good idea. Only we have to look really poor and miserable homeless. Usually the homeless are sitting somewhere on the street with a sign that says to give food. That's what I want to do, JJ. Now they're going to give us a whole bunch of food and we won't starve to death. That's cool. But where are you going to find a sign? What? It's been in your pocket the whole time? Yeah, you have no idea what goes in my pocket sometimes. Anything can come in handy at a moment's notice. You need to seem even more pathetic. Sit on the floor just like a real homeless person. That's it. Now you look as awful as possible. I have to hold the sign like this. Now you can ring the doorbell. Hey, open up, please. That's it. We're hungry, little kids. Our plan is genius. Hey, who was that knocking on the door? Someone asked for help. Oh, there's little kids in here. They also have some kind of sign. What do they need? Hello, we are two orphans. Our parents kicked us out of the house, and we are also very hungry. Could you give us some food? No matter how much you feel sorry for it. Oh my god, how bad is that? We must help them. Yes, give us food. We are very hungry. Did we make this sign in vain? If we don't eat today, we will die, and it will be entirely your fault. Oh no, these children should not die because of us. Then feed and shelter us right now. Um, okay, if you ask for it. Come to our house. We will feed you. You can feel at home. Finally, someone helped us. We're so glad. Oh yeah, finally, at least some kind people came across to us. So, well, the house is quite good. Of course, our previous one was better, but we can live here. We're glad you liked it here. Did you really want to eat? Oh yeah, very much. We haven't eaten anything for several days. And my brother already wanted to steal food. Here's your bread. And stealing food from someone is very bad. Thank you very much. Let me eat too. I'm hungry too. Here you go, Mikey. I don't feel sorry for anything for my brother. Thank you. It was delicious, but not enough. They ate all the bread in our house. But in the previous house, all the bread burned. We could eat it. How did it burn? What's happened? Yes, tell me what happened. We accidentally burned down our previous house because Mikey decided to play with his lighter. This is why our parents kicked us out. They are completely stupid. Here are the fire extinguishers. If you see a fire, put it out immediately. Um, okay. These dudes are too weird. Their costumes are also unusual. Because we are a family of firefighters. Our job is to put out fires. Let me show you your room. Finally, we can have a good rest from this hard day. Tomorrow, we will train you to be real firefighters. Um, but we're still little children. We should be watching cartoons, not putting out fires. Although it's better than being homeless on the street. This is where you will sleep. Wow, such a soft bed. Thank you very much. We are happy to help you, poor children. You are such kind and good people. We are very grateful to you for everything you have done. Okay, it's already late. At this time, it's already time for all the children to go to bed. Agree, although I would also watch cartoons. No cartoons for today. It is unpleasant. Good night to you all. Gain strength because you'll need it tomorrow. Good night to you too. Mikey, I didn't think our plan would work at all. Oh, yeah. Even though these are some strange eccentrics, now we have our own home. Good night, JJ. Good night to you too, Mikey. I have no idea what will happen tomorrow. <coughs> Good morning, I'm JJ. I slept really well. I had a really cool dream. But now it's time to wake up, Mikey. Yeah, we should definitely wake him up. Hey, Mikey, wake up quickly. Stop sleeping. You've been asleep a long time. Get up quickly, hey? Good morning, JJ. Stop yelling so loud. Is something wrong? Yes, you've been asleep too long. It's time to wake up and face the new day. It's 6 a.m. Wow, that's great. I didn't sleep that much. I'm fine. Good morning, kids. How did you sleep? I hope you didn't forget we have practice today. Let's get ready and go. Oh, cool. What are we gonna do? You'll be going through special firefighter training. We'll prepare you in case of a fire. Wow, cool. But why now? 
It's only morning. We just woke up. Stop asking unnecessary questions. Wouldn't you like to practice with your parents? That's right. Stop talking. We need to practice. Okay, you're right. Let's practice. Great. Go downstairs and go outside. Yay, I'm excited. Mikey, do you like it? We're finally going to be real strong firemen. All right, kids. Are you ready? You're about to go through a very difficult obstacle course. I think you can handle it. Yeah, we're totally ready. I can't wait to do the test. I'm sure I can do it, but Mikey probably can't. Ha <laughs> ha. Are you out of your mind? I can pass all these tests, too. Wow, I thought it would be a little easier. But that's okay. I'll give it my best shot. You will have to crawl from the bottom, which is not easy either. You have to be able to crawl on the ground. Then you will have to run through the water. Then you will have to climb the wall and pass the fire test. If you can do it all, you are very good. Do you think you can do it? I've never crawled this low or run through fire before. I don't know if we're going to make it through this. Jay, speak for yourself, wuss. I can definitely get through this whole ordeal. Mikey, are you the smartest guy here? Look how big the fire is. Can you pass this test? You're afraid of fire. You're forgetting we have fire extinguishers. Of course we can pass these tests. Yeah, guys, don't be scared. I see you're already freaking out. Ha ha. You'll be fine. You'll get through this ordeal. Don't worry. Okay. I'm still a little scared, but I think it's going to be okay. So, Mikey, which one of us is going to be the first to take the test? Well, if you're afraid to take that test first, baby JJ, then I'll go first. Show you how real professionals work. Ha ha. Hey, Mikey, stop messing with me. I'm not scared. I'm just a little scared. Keep walking or I'll easily outrun you. Don't talk crap, JJ. There's no way you're going to beat me. Me. You're scared to go through this ordeal. No way, I'm not afraid. By the way, look at how supportive our parents are. Come on, get in quick. Look, all we have to do is get through the fire and put it out. Look, Mikey, I think we need to hurry up. Whoa, look. All right, you and me, we're doing great. We made it all the way through. Yay, Mikey and JJ, you are great. You were able to pass this tough test the first time. Yes, we tried really hard and managed to pass the first time. Mikey did a great job. I thought he would chicken out and not be able to pass the test. But on the contrary, he passed it first and was not even scared. I was a little scared. Yes, JJ, you're doing great. But now we have to eat breakfast because we haven't eaten since this morning. I'll make you something delicious. Oh yeah, I'm really hungry. I'd love some pizza right now. Stop, what's that? Do you hear that? Someone's calling our phone. We have to answer it in case something bad happens. Good afternoon. Urgently need your help. We have a house on fire and the fire is spreading very fast. Soon there will be nothing left of the house. Quickly come and put it out. Wow, did you hear that? Someone's house is on fire. We have to go and put out the fire. We may have to rescue people from the fire. Hurry up and get in the car. We don't have much time. What a nightmare, Mikey. Did you hear that? This will be our first time as firemen. We can help people put out fires. We've been practicing for a reason. Yes, JJ, you are right. Now you and Mikey will help us save people from the fire. Just remember the most important rule. You have to be very careful. It's a very dangerous job. It's very easy to get hurt if you're not careful. Mom, Dad, don't worry. We'll be very careful. You saw us do the obstacle course today. We're prepared and we can do it. Yes, we can definitely handle it. Okay, I understood you, but still, be careful. Mom and I are worried about you. Anyway, this is your first challenge. Be careful. Start getting ready. We have a long way to go. The path is not close. Great, I can't wait to get started. Yes, me too. Three hours later. Okay, we're almost there. Be careful. The fire can spread very far. Mom and I will put out the fire on the first floor, and you go to the second. Your task is to check if there are people on the second floor, and if someone is there, immediately take them out of the house. It's very dangerous there. Do you understand me? Yes, we understand everything. We will be very careful. Wow, just look at how big the fire is here. It has already engulfed the whole house. I've never seen anything like this before. Somehow it's even a little scary. In our training, the fire was much smaller. So, children, now we do everything as carefully as possible. Don't touch anything. Your task is to go up to the second floor and check everything there. Okay, Mom, Dad, do you need help? The fire is incredibly big. Are you sure you can handle it? Oh, children, I don't know. The fire is really very big, but it's better for us to split up. Suddenly, there are people on the second floor. They also need to be helped. You have to save them. So, Mikey, are you ready? Now we are on a real mission. This is not a training session. We have have to check the second floor. Yes, JJ, I'm certainly ready. What are you afraid of, haha? -ha? Don't be afraid. Everything will be fine. Now we'll quickly check the second floor and go downstairs to our parents. 
Okay, Mikey, you're right. Wait, what? Did you hear that? Look back, the tree has fallen from the ceiling. We can't get out of here now. We're trapped. What should we do, Mikey? I don't know what to do. We weren't taught this in training. It seems smoke has begun to fill this room. I can't breathe, JJ. Think of something. Mikey, what's wrong with you? Did you feel bad? Mikey, answer me. Oh, no, I think I'm losing consciousness, too. Oh, stupid kids. I told you to be careful. We are lucky that we heard you and came to save you. You still have to study and study. Okay, it's okay. We saved them after all. Let's go take them to a safe place. Away from the fire, they need to wake up. Yes, you're right. Everything is fine. The next day. Mikey, what are we doing today? You don't want anything? Yeah, JJ, I'd like to go for a walk. Look at the weather outside. Yes, the weather is just beautiful today. JJ, do you think maybe could ask your parents if they want to go for a walk? I think they wouldn't mind, especially that the weather is nice today after so many days of rain. Hi, kids. How are you doing? Is everything okay? We have a proposition for you. Would you like to go for a walk? JJ, look how lucky we are. Yes, of course, we want to go out. That's good. We were actually going to ask you to take a walk, weren't we, JJ? That's good. Then come downstairs. We'll be waiting for you there. Okay, Mom. Mikey, we're so lucky today. We're going for a walk. Yes, you're right. Let's go downstairs. They're waiting for us. Oh, boys, you're already here. Come on, get in your strollers. Okay, Mom. JJ, I'll sit in the left stroller. You don't mind, do you? Of course not, Mikey. You've always liked that stroller, and I'll take my favorite one. Thank you, JJ. Guys, I'm so glad we're all going out together. All right, son, sit down. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Mikey, I'm so glad we have such wonderful parents. Yeah, JJ, I agree with you. They're our best. Honey, where are we going out tonight? I haven't figured it out yet. It's the first nice weather we've had in days. Let's go out and decide as we walk, shall we? All right, let's do that. Let's go. Kids, are you ready? Yes, Daddy. What great weather it is outside. So, any suggestions? Let's go to the park. They should have fixed the playground there by now. Okay, love, let's go. It's finally stopped raining. It's been so long since we've been out for a walk. Yes, dear, we've been looking forward to this weather for a long time. Honey, is it just me, or is there a strange sound above us? Yeah, I hear that too. Look, what's that over there? Wow, honey, what is it? What? What was that? Where are we? Are you kids okay? Yeah, Mom, I'm fine. Don't worry, we're fine. Where are we? Well, 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 who we got here? Let's take a look. Yeah, we got another Earthling. Mom, Dad, who's that? What do they want from us? Son, they're alien Skibidi toilets. I don't know why they need us, but it's not good. Mom, we're really scared. What should we do? Dude, look, there's kids with them. What are we gonna do with them? Throw them back on the ground? Dude, sure. Throw them back. We don't need them. Okay, I'll do it now. Hurry up! We don't have much time! Two hours later... Honey, I'm so happy I met you two years ago. I love you so much. I'm the luckiest man on this planet. Honey, you're amazing. I love you so much too. Thank you for these beautiful two years together. Ouch! Oh no! Oh, where are we? I don't know. What's that sound? I don't know, sweetheart. Let's go check it out. Yeah, honey, let's go. Honey, I'm scared. Who are you? And what are you doing in our fireplace? I'm sorry. We were kidnapped with our parents. And then they were left behind. And we were thrown out of a spaceship and into your chimney. Yes, it was like that. What are you talking about? You've ruined our romantic dinner. Get out of here. Now. And don't let us see you again. Honey, help me kick them out. Ouch. Okay, we're leaving, but don't hurt us. Get out of our house. And don't you dare come back. Go far away. Yeah, so we don't have to see you here. Honey, let's go on to dinner. Yes, darling, let's go inside. Oh, Mikey, what are we going to do? We don't know where we are. Our parents have been kidnapped. 
no, JJ. They kicked us out and didn't even believe what we said. Let's think of something. Let's go somewhere. Maybe other people will help us. Yeah, I agree with you, but where do we go now? I don't know, Mikey. Why don't we go to the village? But we're definitely not welcome here. Yes, JJ. Let's go to the village. There's a better chance of meeting someone. Then let's hurry. Three hours later. Oh, Mikey, it's starting to rain. We've got to get out of the rain so we don't get sick. Yeah, JJ, you're right. Let's go find shelter and someone to help us. Look, we're in a village. Let's find a house with a light on and ask for help. Yeah, let's look around carefully. I'm soaking wet. We're going to get sick. Don't worry, Mikey. We should definitely find someone here to help us. Yes, I hope so. I'm very scared and I'm also terribly hungry. We've got to get help fast. I agree with you. I can't wait to find someone. Look, there's a dog. He's so cute. So his owners must be here somewhere and they'll help us. Oh, I don't think that dog is nice at all. Looks like this dog doesn't have any owners. And it's coming at us. Mikey, hurry up. Run away from it. Run, JJ. I'm coming. She's so mean. Mikey, she's right behind us. JJ, keep up with me or she'll chew you out. Yeah, Mikey, I'm running right behind you. Don't you stop, too. Okay. Oh, no, it's still chasing us. What should we do? Keep up, Mikey. Hurry up. JJ, I'm tired of running. When is she going to get off our backs? Look, JJ, there's a big house over there. Maybe they'll help us. Let's get to it. Oh, no, it's closed, and the dog's coming toward us. Look, JJ, there's a ladder. Let's use it to climb the fence. Mikey, watch out. Jump, JJ. Whew, I did it. Ha, you can't get us now. We got away from you. JJ, we did it. We got away from that evil dog. Yeah, Mikey, we did it. Now we can relax. What? What's that sound? Oh, no, she dug a hole under the fence. What are we going to do now? I don't know, JJ. Go away, you evil dog. Get away from us. We're not tasty. Go away. JJ, hurry up and get to the door. I'll ring it. Maybe someone will save us. Mikey, we're trapped. What's going to happen to us now? We have nowhere to go. Somebody, save us. Get out of my garden, you evil dog. Or I'll shoot you. Mikey, are you seeing this? Yes, JJ. The dog is gone. We're saved. Thank you, ma'am. Kids, my name is Speaker Woman. What are you doing in my garden? Hello, I'm Mikey, and this is JJ. We lost our parents. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. Um, my condolences to you. Are you hungry? Yeah, we could use a meal. I can't remember when we've eaten. Have a seat. I'll make you something. JJ, I think we're in luck. Yeah, Mikey. I agree with you. Let's get to the table. I've already sat down, JJ. Why don't you sit down? Kids, I've prepared a humble supper for you. Bon appétit. It smells delicious. We're so glad we met you. Thank you so much. JJ, and here's your dish. Enjoy. Wow, Mikey is right. This looks just gorgeous and appetizing. Thank you so much. You are so kind to us. You're welcome. Let's eat and tell me what happened to you. Where are your parents? All right, we'll tell you all about it. It's just so delicious. Thank you again. Mikey, please tell Speaker Woman what happened to us. We went for a walk with our parents, and then we were kidnapped. Our parents were left in a spaceship, and we were thrown out. We met a couple, but they kicked us out. Then we walked for a long time and came to your village. A dog started running after us, and we came to you. Oh, that sounds awful. Well, until we find your parents, you can stay with me. I have just the perfect room for you, and I think you're going to love it. So come on up. I'll show you where everything is and where you'll live. Come on, follow me. Come on, JJ. Let's go see the rooms. Yeah, Mikey, I'm right behind you. Take your pick. Here's the first one. Come on in. Feel free to come into the room. Yeah, okay. Wow, this room looks amazing. I love it. I take it this will be your room. JJ, good. Mikey, let me show you your room now. Yeah, that'll be my room. Mikey, let's go see yours. This way. Come on in. Mikey, your room will be across from JJ's. Come on, get in there. Wow, this is so cool. I love it. Speaker woman, thank you so much again for helping us out. You're very nice. If I understand you guys correctly, you like to play together, don't you? Yes, we love to play together. Am I right? Of course. Then so I'll show you a room where you can play together. Do you agree? Yes. Of course we agree. Then come with me. I'll show you this room. 
Guys, there's your room. Oh, so Mikey, shall we go? Yeah, let's go look around the room. Wow, it's so spacious and look, it's a slide. Yay! I hope you enjoy this room. Hmm. There's plenty of room and there are toys to play with. Yeah! Yes, we noticed that huge awesome slide right away. Thank you. You're welcome. Hee hee hee. Sit down, rest both of you, and then I'll help you both find your parents. Really? I'll help you both. Oh my god, Mikey, this is unbelievable. Behave yourselves. Okay. This is your room now, so you can do what you want, but don't forget to clean up after yourself. That's right! Good night. Night. Sleep well. Best dreams to you. See you tomorrow. JJ, we're very lucky. Oh, what? Look at this. Yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff in here. Like this table. Yes. We got caught in such a downpour, but now we're in such a great room. Cool. Look at that toy chest. <clears throat> it's full of them. That's a lot. I'll say more. There are two of these chests of drawers. Wow, Mikey. There's also an awesome cat clock. Yeah, it's fun. Let's go jump off the slide already. Wait, what? JJ, I'm totally serious right now. I think it's dangerous. Well, if you're so worried, I'll jump off this half block. Oh, my God. Look. Uh, Yay. what's going on? You can jump high here. Oh, how high can I jump? Yeah. Ouch. Huh, are you okay? Yeah, come here. Ouch. Look, it even has board games. Awesome. Cool. I don't think we'll be bored, that's for sure. Yeah. There are pencils here. Let's draw. Yes, we will paint, but not now. But it's so cool. I want it now. We'll get there, JJ. Uh, Let's draw all the Minecraft mobs. Let's do it. It's going to be incredible. The next morning. I don't know, Mikey. Why did mom and dad send us here? I don't understand. I don't like this place very much. Mikey, I don't want to scare you or even upset you, but it looks like we've been abandoned by our parents. What? No way. They couldn't do this to us, especially leaving us in a place like this. I thought so too, but our parents thought otherwise. JJ, let's go find someone who can help us. Wait, Mikey, but where are we gonna find her? I don't know, JJ. Let's go see if we can meet somebody. Okay. Wait, I want to ask you something. What do you want to ask? JJ, do you think they really didn't need us? I don't know, Mikey. It could be. Let's not think about that right now. Okay. Oh, here come the guys. Let's ask them. Hey, who are you guys? What are you doing here? Guys, we just... JJ, I don't like them. Why don't we just leave them? Guys, I'm sorry, but we're leaving now. Yes, we have to go. No, you'll leave when we say so. Now, do you have any money? If you do, give it to me, now. Do you understand me? But we don't have any money. Our parents abandoned us. No money? Abandoned by your parents? We know what to do, don't we, boys? Yeah, you're right, we know. Will you help us? Yeah, yeah, we'll help you. Of course. Who are you lying to? Us? You're going to pay for your lies. Show us your pockets. Hey, don't touch my brother. Otherwise, you'll regret it. What? Are you threatening me? You little brat. Take that. Mikey. Don't just stand there. Fight back. Why do we have to put up with this? Attack! You will regret it. Hiya! What? It's a police car. Guys, it's the cops. Let's get out of here before they catch us. JJ, they'll definitely help us out. This isn't over. We remembered you. Walk and look around. JJ, they ran away. What are we going to do? Maybe the police can help us? Guys, where are all your other friends? I saw you outnumbered. Comrade policemen, we were abandoned by our parents, and those guys are not our friends at all. Okay, let's go to the police station, and on the way you will tell me the names of your mom and dad, how you got here, and where you live, so that we can find them as soon as possible, and contact them. Okay, comrade policemen. Then get in the car and let's go to the police station. We'll tell you, Mikey, don't worry, we'll get help. Yeah, JJ, I'm sure they will too. Okay, guys, don't forget to fasten your seatbelts. I already did. Oh, I forgot. I'll put my seatbelt on. Don't ever forget to buckle up. Are we there yet? Yeah, we're just pulling up to the lot, just past the barrier. And we're there. That's good. I just got a little car sick in the car. All right, we're here. You can come out now. Okay. Okay. Wow, this is looking pretty good. I agree with you, Mikey. Guys, it's nice that you like our police building, but... We need to find your parents soon. He's right, Mikey. We need to find them. All right, follow me. Mikey, do you think he'll find our parents? I think he will. He's a policeman. Hey, what are you standing there for? I told you to follow me. Let's go, JJ. Keep up with me. Okay. All right, guys. When we get into the station, keep quiet. Everybody's very busy working. You'll ask questions when I say you can, okay? Good morning, sir. Hi. We have two kids who've probably been abandoned by their parents. I'll take this case in my office. All right. If you need any help, you're welcome to it. Okay. 
Thank you. Guys, let's go to my office. Just don't touch anything in there. Okay, let's go, JJ. So I'm gonna look up your parents and see if I can contact them, if I can find them. Just give me a little time, okay? Yeah, sure, do your jobs. JJ, do you think mom and dad are gonna get us out of this police station soon? I'm so hungry, and I wanna go home so bad. I miss them already. Guys, I have some bad news. Unfortunately, I can't find your parents. So, I'm gonna have to send you to an orphanage until we find your parents. I'm sorry, but there's nowhere else to put you. What? But we don't want to go to an orphanage. Alas, we have no other choice. Wait, I'll call the orphanage. JJ, we're not going to the orphanage, I promise you. Let's run away from here. Yeah, Mikey, let's go before he sees us. Yeah, you're right. Just keep up with me, please. Okay, Mikey, I'm right behind you. JJ, what are we gonna do? I don't wanna go to the orphanage. But first, we gotta get out of here, and then we'll figure something out. Uh-huh, yeah. Okay, I hear you, thanks. We'll be right there. All right, guys, I've got some great news for you. What? I don't get it, they were just here. Where did they go? Mikey, wait, don't be in such a hurry. What? What happened? Nothing, I just think we've run far enough. We can take our time. I don't think we were even followed. Yeah, you're right, JJ. I think we can take it slow. Do you think this road will take us home or not? I don't know, Mikey. Honestly, this is the first time I've seen this road, but it could be. I agree with you. JJ, anything is possible in this world. This is the last thing we need. The rain. We have to find shelter. I don't want to get too wet. Come on, let's go find it. JJ, I think I found us a shelter. There's a hiding place under those steps. We can hide there. Let's go quickly. Good job, Mikey. Now we can hide from the rain, and it's all thanks to you. We're just lucky. We were close to home. Yeah, but if it wasn't for you, we'd all be soaked in cold right now. What? Did you hear that? Someone came out of the house. It's Cameraman. What? Are there kids in here? What are you doing here? Cameraman, I'm sorry to hide in your house, but my brother and I were abandoned by our parents, and we have nowhere to go. Okay, all right. Do you want to stay with us? Yeah, that'd be great. I'm so cold and I'm hungry. Okay, then come get me. Mikey, we're in luck. Yes, we're very lucky. Welcome to my house. I'd like you to meet my wife, Ellie. Honey, we've got company. What? What kind of guests are we having today? Oh, who are these fine young men? Mikey, I really like her already. She's all kind. Well, my husband Harry said, you were hungry. So come on, let's eat. I've been waiting so long for this, I'm so hungry. Let's go to the table. So, we're having meat tonight, so feel free to get some. Wow, it looks so appetizing, and it smells even better. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Don't be shy, go ahead and eat it. Before I start eating, I want to say again thank you. You're welcome, eat while it's hot. This is the best food I've ever tasted. Yeah, you're right, Mikey. Thanks for a great dinner. Yeah, thanks, it was delicious. You're welcome, guys. Mikey, I wish they were our parents. JJ, I like them. No one's ever taken care of us like that. Let's go watch TV. Guys, come on in. I've got cartoons for you. Thanks, Harry. JJ, that's one of our favorite cartoons. Yes, it's a SpongeBob. I love watching it so much. Honey, why don't we show the kids to their room? Yes, honey, let's go. Guys, come up to the second floor with us. We've got your room all ready for you. OK, we're on our way. Guys, this should be our kids' room, but we don't have them yet. It'll be yours for now. Wow, what a room. It's so cool and cozy. Yeah, JJ, look at all the toys. And there's a pool. Yeah, Mikey, it's really cool. You guys can stay in the room for a while until we find your real parents. And we're going to go do some errands. Good night and sweet dreams. Good night, Harry. Good night, Ellie. Good night, boys. JJ, it's so nice here. We're so lucky to have you. I've dreamed of having a room like this my whole life. Yeah, Mikey, we're really lucky. Let's go to bed. Yeah, let's go. Good night, JJ. Good night, Mikey. Oh, Mom, don't hit me. Uh, oh, we're not home anymore. Yeah. 
Yeah, but this place is so much better. Good morning, Mikey. Good morning, JJ. I slept just fine. Yeah, I like it a lot better here, too. We were given so many toys. All these toys are so cool. I love that tiger. He's cool. Our room, it's awesome. It's such a bright room. Yeah. I hope we don't get kicked out again. Hi, kids. Hi. Hello. Oh, hi. How did you sleep? Cool. Don't you want to go home? Yeah, the room is awesome. Uh. Oh, wait, back home? Hmm. Yes, we just discussed this situation with cameraman, and we think you better find your parents. Really? Don't take offense to us. You're great kids. Hmm. We just think it's best for you. Oh, my God. But I don't want to go home at all. I don't want to. Oh, was I imagining Oh, things? I heard the doorbell. I heard that, too. But kids. Who is it? I'll open the door. JJ, are they going to kick us out, too? Oh, I don't want to go home at all. I hope everything is going to be okay. Hello. Oh, no, it's Dad. I'm very worried. Hello, did you want something? Yes, we were told you have our children. Oh, no, it's our parents. Oh, our babies, we missed you so much. What? You're lying. My boy, what are you talking about? We've been looking for you both. You don't care about us at all. Come on, let's go home. Yeah, we missed you guys so much. No, <gasps> don't hit me. We don't need either of you. Please, I don't want to go with both of you. Go away. Leave us alone. Ugh. Come with us now. Come on. How can you treat your own children like that? Oh. It's none of your business. What do you think you're doing? Get out of this house. You'll never see these beautiful children again. Are you kids okay? I'm okay. Oh, what was that? They saved us, JJ. Boys, listen up. Okay, okay. Hmm. Now I understand why you refuse to go home so much. It's Sad. So now you can stay here. Welcome. Oh my god. Yay, we're finally home. Yeah. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. You'll be fine now. I'm so happy. Uh. JJ, what are you standing there for? Thank our saviors. Yay, thank you so much. Yay, now we don't have to sleep outside and be hungry. Two thousand years later. Oh, Mikey, I'm so hungry. We haven't eaten in four days. Hmm. I'll eat anything right now. Really? Anything? Yes. I'm so hungry I'd even eat moldy cheese. Ew, not the moldy cheese. Yeah. That's the worst. When your stomach wants to eat, everything tastes great. Oh, this is a dumping ground, Mikey. Well... There's got to be something to eat in there. Yeah, let's go find us something to eat. Go, go, go. I don't care if it's a dump or not. I agree. I don't really care anymore either. JJ, did you find anything? No. <gasps> uh, I found it. Look at this. What did you find? In this wooden box lies a juicy piece of rotten meat. Wow, Mikey. Can I really eat this whole mouth-watering piece of meat? Yeah, sure. Eat up. Oh, yeah. Enjoy my appetite. Bon appetit. Yeah. So how are you feeling? Oh, I feel a little sick. Oh, JJ, I can't take it anymore. Uh... We live on the street. We eat garbage. Oh. And here's this great speaker man living the good life. But we are mere orphans. Well... We don't have the same conditions as this distinguished speaker man. I'm so looking forward to a normal, full life. Mikey! <laughs> It's going to be okay. Yes, that's the way it's going to be because I'm going to that house. But what are you going to do? I want to ask for some food. I don't think he'll share his food with us. I found a piece of cardboard from a box and wrote a caption on it. Isn't that by any chance the box we slept on? Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, I didn't know you could write. I can't write. But Mikey. I just know that this drawing means we need food. Wow, that turned out awesome. I tried really hard to draw that. Let's knock on the door and ask for food. Yes. What are you guys doing here? We're very hungry. Yeah. If you're really hungry, come inside. Oh, my God. Oh, can we really go into your house? Cool. Honey, we have little guests here. Wow. Did you call me, honey? <gasps> what other guests? Hello, beautiful lady. Oh, you mean those adorable boys? We're very hungry. Please. Oh, my God, you guys. Of course I'm going to feed you. Sit down at the table. Oh, Mikey, it really happened. Ooh. We're going to get fed. I'm so glad. Are you sure they won't want to poison us? Let's go to the table. Oh, hmm. I don't think this beautiful TV woman is bad. All right, I'll trust you, JJ. This food is better than a rotten piece of meat from the dumpster anyway. Bon appetit. Oh, yeah, that was pretty awesome. I wouldn't mind another bite. Yeah, I loved it, too. Yeah. Oh, look. Huh, what? All right, kids, are you full? Uh, oh, hmm. Was it good? Yeah. Yay, thank you. I have a suggestion. If you have nowhere else to go, we have one big spare room upstairs. You can stay there. <gasps> oh, my God. What do you think? That's a very cool offer, Mikey. This is really mega cool. Do you think we should stay here? Of course. Yeah, I'd like to stay here, too. Come on in, guys. Wow. Oh, Mikey, look at these toys. Mm. This is your room now. Oh. We've got a lot of toys. Take any of them you want. <gasps> Have a nice vacation in your new home. Oh, my God. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye. JJ, look at this giant room. Yeah. There's toys everywhere. I really like it here, too. Oh, I'm going to get me that cool tiger. But, Mikey. Oh, wow, there's a TV in here. Wow, I'm glad we decided to stay here. Try changing the channel to something else. I pressed the button, but... Hmm. It's just SpongeBob. Okay, let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna put this remote back. This is so cool. Yeah, let's go. Let's go see what else is in our room.
Oh my god. Huh, what do you mean? JJ, there's a huge computer in here. Oh my god, there's three monitors in here. Are we gonna take turns playing with you? Well, I think we can make a deal. I get to play it during the day. Hey, wait, then I'll play every morning. You 100% won't be getting up at 8 a.m. to play. Whoa, ha ha. I'm a lark, Mikey. I'll definitely be waking up at this time. You'll see. JJ, hmm. I'll sleep on the green bed and you sleep on the red one, okay? Yeah, that's a great idea. Yeah. Well, good night then, Mikey. Sweet dreams, JJ. Six months later! Oh, I had such a weird dream. Hmm, it's the middle of the night. Huh, there's no way we're gonna have diamonds outside our house, is there? Uh... Oh my god, these are the diamonds I saw in my dream. Yeah, I'll round them all up. Mikey, get up, we're going diamond hunting. Come on, Mom, just five more minutes. Huh, what? I want to finish my candy castle. Cut the crap and get up. Ouch, what's wrong? Look out the window. Wow, JJ. I'm very serious, there's diamonds just lying on the ground. Come and see. Okay, okay, I think you just dreamed it. Look out there, Mikey. Oh, hmm. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Stop, what? See, I'm not lying. Yeah. There's a bunch of diamonds in there. Yeah. Let's go get them. Hurry up, hurry up. Thanks for waking me up, JJ. Wow, Mikey. Now we have to be as quiet as possible so we don't wake up our parents. I'll walk like a mouse. Keep your voice down. Okay, okay. Oh, look, JJ, they're sleeping so sweetly. Oh, they're such a beautiful couple. Come on, JJ, let's go. Hmm. What's up? It's no big deal. Then what took you so long to get out there? I love our parents. Oh, if you love them, keep it down. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go. I remember the diamonds were lying somewhere in this clearing. I remember that, too. Watch closely, JJ. Oh, there they are. <gasps> oh my god, they're really real diamonds. Get them all, JJ. I'm gonna buy my mom a nice ring. Wow, then I'm gonna buy our daddy a cool car. Oh, that's a very cool gift, Mikey. <gasps> Look out. Oh my god. Oh no. Mikey, it was a trap. How could this happen? They baited us with diamonds on purpose. Let me go. <gasps> oh no, Mikey. JJ, run, get help. Oh wait, don't come near me. Oh my god. Wow. How could we ever fall for that stupid trap? Well, let me go home, you stupid toilet. Two hours later. Oh, oh my head. Uh, where am I? There's a skeleton here. And there's a skeleton here too. Oh my god, I don't like it here. Mmm, sweet cream buns. Oh, Mikey, you're here too. Puppy buns. Huh, what? Mm. Stop sleeping, get up. Ouch, I'm already awake. Ooh, where are we? It's kind of like a dungeon. Hmm, this looks like a first class prison. Do you like it? No, I just think they made a cool design. Uh, how do you open this door? I heard a guard outside. He's got a key to this door for sure. Oh, JJ, you said the guard had keys, right? Yeah, he's got his keys in the toilet barrel. So I can't get the keys out of his pocket. That's exactly right. <gasps> then I have an idea. Oh, I don't think that's gonna work. I'll pretend to go to the bathroom. Oh, no. And when he comes close to hitting me, I'll hit him first. Mikey, no. Hey, hey, oh, hey. Oh, no, Mikey, stop. That's the best plan ever. Stop. Hey, you stupid skibbity toilet security guard. Oh, no. Can you hear me? You stupid toilet, I gotta go to the bathroom. I think he heard everything, Mikey. And you said it wouldn't work. Oh, my God. Hey, you, come here. I have to go to the bathroom. Mikey, no. Hiya! Oh. Who's the best? Oh, my God, Mikey, you are unbelievable. Yes, I'm a genius. Give me the key. I want to open this door myself. Do it, Mikey. It's a small step for the turtle and a big step for the world. Huh, what? Yes. Now we can get out of here in peace. Freedom is near. I can feel it. Yeah. Does this key fit all doors? <clears throat> oh, yeah, it really works. Wow, this place is a lot calmer than I thought it would be. Hmm, it's a bit too quiet in here. Wait, what? Oh, there's the alarm. Mikey, the alarm's gone off. What are we going to do? Relax, JJ. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Look at all these obstacles. <gasps> I'll do it first, watch. You're so cool, Mikey. Sure I'm cool, but I'm not immortal. I understand that. So I don't think I'll pass this with ease. Okay, let's go. Yes, I'll do it. Just be as careful as you can, Mikey. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm a little scared. It's gonna be okay, be brave, JJ. I'll try to stay as calm as I can. See, it's pretty easy when you focus. Oh no, oh my God. What's up? That blade flew too close to me. <gasps> JJ, be careful, please. I'm the most cautious cowboy in this field of blades. Oh, I can see a way out of here. Oh. Come on, JJ, last trap, you can do it. Mikey, where'd you go? Wait for me. Okay, JJ. I can do it. Oh, it was incredibly scary. You're doing great. Yeah. JJ, look where we've come. Uh. You don't notice anything interesting? Huh? No. There's a phone. Oh. We can call our parents to come and rescue us. Right, call mom and dad. They can 100% find us. Hello, mom. Hmm. We've been kidnapped by Skibidi Toilets. Help. Oh, no. Oh, we're in some kind of bunker. Okay, okay. Uh, what did our mom end up saying? She said to wait for us here. So we're supposed to sit in this room and wait. She and her father will come to our rescue soon. Uh, okay. <gasps> Look out. What? Not again. It's those nasty skibbity 
dirty toilets again. That managed to steal us away. Oh my god. What are we gonna do, Mikey? We have to hold out as long as we can. Mom and Dad aren't here yet. Then we'll have to fight. But we can't stand up to all of them. Oh no. Ouch! What is that? Oh! You guys didn't expect us to get here so fast, did you? Dad! Mom! Come on, honey. Take care of those bandits. I'm gonna take care of these scoundrels. Let's go! Do it, Mom! My fire beam will leave no trace of you. Don't even think about doing your evil deeds again. They remembered this lesson forever. Wow! Thank you so much for the rescue. Yes, thanks. Yeah! You're the coolest parents in the world. I think it's time for us to go home now, boys. Mikey, I think we have the best parents ever. Guys, stop talking and let's go home. Hurry up, hurry up. I think so too, JJ. I wonder how far these toilets have taken us. Hmm, interesting, interesting. Hmm. Let's find out now. Yeah. Oh, I love stairs so much. Two hours later. Well, we're almost home, Mikey. Yes, our home is just around the corner. It's been a great adventure. I especially like the underground prison. I'm glad it ended well. Well... We're home. Oh, that sounded suspicious. I'm a little worried. But there's something we need to talk about. We've been very worried about you, boys. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. We need to appreciate being worried about us. I hope you've both learned your lesson about not going out at night without our knowledge. Yeah, Dad, we understand. Sorry. JJ, I don't want to upset our parents anymore. I didn't like that we upset them either. Let's be more careful from now on, shall we? Yeah, I'm not going after a bunch of diamonds anymore. They're not worth it. Now let's watch some TV, shall we? I'll change the channel. I forgot all they show here is SpongeBob. Huh. I forgot too. I think we will remember this adventure for a long time. Yeah. You won't believe in dreams anymore. I'm gonna close this curtain. You'll have to earn diamonds another way. Huh. Now I'll use my iron pickaxe to find diamonds. Huh. I'll get obsidian later with your diamonds then. Huh, what? Oh, okay. I'm really, really tired. Let's go to bed. Yes, I agree. I'm getting sleepy already too. Hey, JJ, you're my best friend. And you're my best friend, Mikey. Sweet dreams. Good night. The next morning. Mikey and I are getting really hungry and are walking around looking for some food. I was getting really hungry, but there wasn't a single place around that we hadn't already been. We should at least take shelter from the wind or we'll die of cold. It's true. I'm cold too. This is more important than food right now. Then let's run around a bit and look for it. It'll be warmer that way. Whoa, look, JJ. Looks like this dumpster is a great place to get away from the blizzard. That's right. An enclosed trash can is a great solution. Let's get over there. There. Even though everything here is covered in icicles like the North Pole, we are saved from the blizzard. It's better than walking the lonely streets. Maybe there's food in here, too. Then it'll be the find of the year. It's true. Then let's not waste any time, Mikey. We've got a chance to eat. Hey, you. What are you doing out there? Looks like we're in trouble. This is our territory. Let's get our feet together and get out of here. Hurry up and do it. What's going on? Guys, realize we have nowhere to go. We're going to warm up here for a while and then we'll go. We're asking you to give us literally. 10 more minutes. I see you don't understand nicely. Then we'll explain it to you the wrong way. Guys, please, let's not fight in any way. We stopped here to hide from the blizzard. We're orphans. We have no home. I don't care who you are. Just get out of here and nobody will hurt you. Guys, please, we're asking you very much. 10 minutes and we're out of here. Oh, well, if it's 10 minutes, that's fine. Looks like you did it, Mikey. We'll wait for you and come back later. Don't worry. That was cool. You believe that? <gasps> Five minutes later. Jesus, my head hurts so bad. And where did I end up? They took us to the bus stop? They're animals. So if I'm here, where's Mikey? Is he here too? Hey, Mikey, you okay? Come on, get up. Don't scare me. Wake up already. Look where we are. What a headache I have. Where are we, JJ? What the hell happened? I don't remember anything from the moment they ran in our direction. I don't remember anything too. But from the look on your face and the pain in our heads, we got hit pretty hard. I'm very cold, JJ. JJ, let's find a place to warm up. It's true. Maybe we can find some food, too. But the main thing is to keep warm. Let's go for a little run to warm up a bit. It'll be quicker to find a new place. All right, but don't go too fast. My bones are aching from those mean kids. I'm still in pain as well. But if we don't find a new place soon, I'm going to die of cold. It's going to be okay. Here's what I was telling you about. He who seeks will always find. That's fire. We finally got lucky. Let's get warm before someone chases us away. No one can kick us out of here. I finally feel warm. What a good feeling. It's so nice here, JJ. I'll never leave here now. I love being here. It's true. We found what we wanted. After so many days in the cold, we are finally rejoicing. Now let's get us fully warmed up and go find us something to eat. This is no small problem for us. I'm done. I'm hungry, too. Then let's go looking while we're warm. I think we can do it. The main thing is not to forget where this beautiful place is. 
truth? It's true. This is God's gift to us, so I know exactly how to get here from anywhere. This is great. I never doubt you. Do you hear that, JJ? Yeah, it sounds like a dog barking, but she's not around. Oh, no. She's as close to us as possible. Look over there. Oh, my God. She has huge red eyes. That dog looks like it has rabies. Maybe she won't hurt us if we don't hurt her. I don't think so, Mikey. I think our first priority is to get away from her as fast as we can. Then what are we waiting for? Come on, let's go. Oh, my God. She's coming after us. Run faster, Mikey. I don't want to get bit. She doesn't even stop. It's just catching up to us. I'm running as fast as I can. Run, Mikey. Run, Mikey, or she'll bite you. She'd rather bite you than me. You're wiggling your butt in front of her. Stop talking. Let's go to that house. We can hide from that stupid dog in there. JJ, where's the door around here? How are we going to get through this high fence? Oh, my God. The mean dog's already caught up with us. Run straight ahead. JJ, I have an idea. Climb those stairs. That way we can jump that fence. I hope the dogs can't climb those ladders. They're so stupid. JJ, jump faster. Yeehaw. Don't be afraid. That's it. We outplayed that dog because we're smart. Because we think right. Hee 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 hee, you stupid dog. You're not getting any dinner tonight. Get out of there. This is our house now. You're not welcome here. Come on, come on. Find another victim. I thought we were done for. It's a good thing she finally got away from us. Now I'm hungry. We're entering someone else's house. I agree. The owners of this house must be rich uncles since they were able to build such a big mansion. It's so cool decorated for Christmas. There's tons of snowmen, lights, Christmas trees, and other stuff stuff. Honestly, I'd love to live here. Oh, by the way, those candy sticks must be real. Let's go lick them. Huh, come on. I'm very hungry, too. Look, it could be just a wooden set. Oh, let's just go try it. Maybe some genius really did put in a real candy cane. Then you try licking it. I'll make fun of you. Mmm, this is delicious. Seriously? You can eat that? No way. Let me lick it, too. Wow, this is such a delicious sweet stick. Hey, who are you guys? I think we've been spotted, JJ. You knew this was private property. What are you doing here? We didn't invite guests. We were just running away from an angry dog. And then we got hungry, and you have such delicious candy sticks in your yard. What do you mean hungry? Where are your parents? Little kids like you don't usually walk around here. Um, uh, we don't have parents. We're two orphans who live on the streets. Yes, that's why we were looking for food in the dumpster until we were attacked by an angry dog. Oh my god, what poor children you are. Oh my god, <laughs> Mikey's whining again. Stop crying in public. Let's go to our house. But we're complete strangers to you. It doesn't matter. You need to be warmed, fed, and housed. What? You want to take us in? That would be cool. Don't you guys need help? Actually, we need help. We have no parents. We're very unhappy. And very hungry. Then why don't you stay with us? Why not? Let them live with us. Wow, that would be really cool. By the way, we have a nursery where they will be staying. They will definitely love it there. And why are they dressed like Santa Claus and Mrs. Santa? Maybe that's what they are? I guess they don't realize we deliver presents to everyone on Christmas Day. That looks like a real Santa Claus. I don't care if they figure it out or not. Yeah, let them live with us then. Mikey, looks like we won't be homeless now. Anyway, we have decided that you will now live with us permanently. We'll be kind of like your parents. It will be a Christmas present for them. Wow, we would love to stay with you. Now we'll have our own parents. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. That's so sweet. Let's go inside. Now we won't be living in a dump. How lucky we are. Huh, our house will be a hundred times cooler than your dump. I hope your place doesn't stink as bad as the last place. Wow, this place is so cool. So many Christmas toys will put you in a special holiday mood. Yes, we have worked hard on the exterior of our home. It's our job after all. Oh, I mean, we wanted it that way. You're doing pretty good. Thank you, but I hate doing decorations every year. It's gonna be so cool living here, JJ. By the way, you should get a Christmas present. Um, no one's ever given us a gift. Now you'll be getting them all the time. I love that, Mikey. Wow, what a big Christmas tree you have. I've never celebrated Christmas with my family. Now we will all celebrate celebrate Christmas together every year. Whoa, presents? This is for you. Whoa, you have computers. I'm so excited to play computer games. Uh, these computers are for work. You'll have separate gaming computers in your room. You're so rich you can afford a few grand. I'm surprised. It feels so good to press those keys. Hey, let me poke at the keyboard too. Mikey, they told you we'd have our own computers. Calm down. Oh, well, okay then. You kids are so funny. Yeah, I like them too. They're hilarious. <laughs> oh my God, you better not laugh like that. I'm scared of that sound. Everyone is afraid of my scary laugh. 
<laughs> Mikey, you better never laugh at all. Would you like to see your room? Of course we want it. Show it to us. Then let's go to the second floor. I'm sure you'll definitely enjoy it. Let's go, JJ. There's gonna be a super mega cool gaming computer where we can play Minecraft. Wow, I love playing Minecraft, too. I didn't know adults played games, too. Come into the room and take a look. Maybe you'll like it? Well, let's see what's in there. Wow, this place is so cool. I would love to live here. It wasn't as cozy in the dumpster as it was here. And here's that favorite computer of yours. Not bad. I like it. It's like we won the lottery. Now we have a family, a home, our own room with a cool computer. You're the best parents we've ever had. That's good to hear. Didn't you want to eat something? Oh, yeah. We're really hungry after the street. Okay, eat a little later. And now we'll show you the children's entertainment room. Wow, let's see what you got here. There are so many toys, and it's all going to belong to us? I'm totally shocked. Yeah, you can play whatever you want and as much as you want. We're going to play with every toy in this room. By the way, you wanted to eat. Why don't you get some meat or some vegetables? Uh, that sounds as unpalatable as possible. Well, what do you want? We would like some cookies. Yes, we want sweeties. Well, okay, we've got cookies for you. Eat up, children. Enjoy. I hope you like it. Oh, now that's something I like. Thank you so much. It's been a long time since we've had anything good to eat. We're glad you enjoyed it. And now we have to go about our business. Have fun, kids. Thank you so much for everything. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. The cookies were delicious. Let's eat all these cookies. I've gotten so hungry this day. Okay, I'd eat these cookies for the rest of my life. Nom, 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 nom. Ooh, that's how I like it. Nom, 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 nom. These are the most delicious cookies I've ever had in my life. Nom, 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 nom. I totally agree with you. Mrs. Santa knows how to bake cookies. Nom, 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 nom. After such a good snack, it was time to play some computer games. Now I'm going to install Minecraft in here and play it all night. Hey, why are you playing? Let me on the computer. I want to play right now. Uh, no, I'll go first. All right, get out. I'm the big brother here. You have to listen to me. <laughs> I'll be installing all the games now. You need to install Minecraft first, stupid. I know where to click. You don't have to teach me. I know a thousand times more about computers than you do. All you know how to do is play Minecraft. Okay, it doesn't matter. Look here. Our beds are so big. It's more comfortable than sleeping on a newspaper. A few moments later. I am in an orphanage since I don't have parents. And this is my brother, Mikey. I don't understand why you're so cheerful. Because Christmas is coming. We're in an orphanage without parents. And those idiots are still excited about some stupid Christmas tree. How am I supposed to cheer you up? I'd be happy for my new parents. Yes, new parents would be a nice Christmas present. I'm too sad without my parents, JJ. But it's still worth it to rejoice in the little things during such difficult times in life. You should learn from them how to have fun. The only thing that would make me happy is a little Christmas present. No one has given me a gift in years. Don't worry. I hear there are enough gifts for all the kids in this orphanage this year. That's good. Last year, I was last in line and didn't get a gift for me. Huh, you're such a loser, Mikey. Oh, look. There's new parents coming in to adopt that girl. She's a very lucky kid. Do you want to live with us? You'll live in the basement. You'll like it for sure. You, living in a basement is not cool. I'm so jealous of her. Oh, my God. Are you crying again? Oh, my God. We're going to be adopted someday. Don't be so so desperate, Mikey. Let's go to our room. You need to calm down. I don't want to calm down. Well, you can cry all you want. Just do it in your room. Otherwise, we'll be punished again. If it's any consolation, I can give you my Christmas present when I get it. I want all the presents under the tree. No, Mikey, this is too much even for you. You've got a lot of nerve, I see. Nobody's giving you all the presents. You know, I'm not giving you my present either. Oh my god. The next day. You know, JJ, I'm not in the Christmas mood I was in last year. Because you cried all the moods out last day, Mikey. Look outside. It's winter. It's snowing. It's like Christmas. What am I supposed to do with this snow? The only reason people love winter is because of Christmas. Hey, Mikey, JJ, are you busy? I'm coming in. Hurry up and get the presents out from under the Christmas tree. Wow, presents now? Stop talking. Get in line for your presents. I still have a line to stand in. Stop whining, Mikey. Hurry up and get your present. And what exactly are we getting? It's all random. Okay, I like it already. We might get a really cool gift. I'm glad Glad you're finally in a good mood, Mikey. Let's go to our tree. There's a lot of presents. Every child in this orphanage will be happy. Oh, I love that. Since there's a lot of presents, I guess I could somehow get two presents instead of one. Hi, kids. Let's start sorting out the presents. Yay, presents. Wow, there's a whole bunch of those boxes. There's definitely enough for everyone. Just please, don't take more than one gift, okay? All right. No, of course not. Okay, teacher. Okay, quiet, everybody. Get in line. No crowding. We need to take first place so no one steals 
skills are present. Ow, ow, Aya, don't push. Yeah, why are you pushing? Because there's never enough presents for everyone. Shut up. Well, these kids are rude these days, I can tell. They're already starting to sort through the presents there. Oh my god, we might not get ours in time. They said there were a lot of gifts. Don't worry about it. I don't like the whole thing anyway. Wait a little while and we'll get your present. Wow, I got such a cool gift. Thank you so much. And here's my present. Ha ha, there's not enough presents left. And now it's our turn. I got the last present. <laughs> you guys are such losers. Seriously? No more presents? What about us? There was a whole bunch of boxes. Our present was stolen. We'll have to ask the teacher. Hey, I'm sorry, but we didn't have enough presents. It's all gone. How did this happen? Everyone just sorted out all the presents. We didn't get anything. Uh-oh. Looks like you guys didn't have any presents. Are you stupid? We just told you that. It's okay, kids. You can get your gift for next year. No need to worry. What? We have to wait another year? Aren't you guys crazy? Maybe you've been misbehaving, so you didn't get a present. Next time, be good children. Bye-bye, losers. Uh, you heard that. She called us losers. That's horrible. Some freak stole our present. They stole two presents, and no one saw it. Oh, my God. And then you started crying again. What if I cry, too? Are you going to make me feel better? I don't think so. You don't need this gift. They're giving you some stupid little toy for a baby, and we're grown-ups. We can do without unnecessary gifts. And I want that present. I don't want to anymore. We can take a gift away from some weak kid. Sounds like a good plan to me. Uh, or we could write a letter to Santa Claus and ask him for a present. This is the person who will definitely give the gift. Hmm, sounds smart. I agree. Let's write him a letter. It's not cool to live without a gift. Okay, but you're the writer. I have terrible handwriting. No, let you write it. You're going to write it. Santa wouldn't understand that. Five minutes later. Well, the letter's ready. Now you can mail it. Where are we going to send this letter? We're going to write Santa Claus on the address? Um, I hadn't thought of that. What are we supposed to do then? You just throw the letter in the air. I'm sure he'll find it and read it. Sounds like a solid and genius plan, JJ. Okay, I'll trust you as a professional mailman. Fly, letter. Fly to Santa Claus and bring us lots of presents. It's spinning strangely. Fly where you belong, stupid letter. Hey, don't insult the letter. It's supposed to bring us presents. Forgive my stupid brother. Uh, what are you talking about? Letters don't have feelings. It's just a piece of paper. It'll still get to Santa Claus. You still have to be a little kinder to everything around you. I'll be mad at everyone because everyone treats me badly. Maybe it's time to change. Then everyone will treat you better, Mikey. Mm, maybe you're right. Okay. Hello, I'm Santa's secretary. He's on vacation. I'm working for him. Okay, I'll have a french fry, two Big Macs, a medium Coke, and a sweet and sour sauce. I'm sorry, but this is Santa Claus' office, not McDonald's. Hey, Chica, let's go meet up then. This is the ski beanie toilet. Oh my god, bye-bye. Ha ha ha! I'm not giving you any presents. Hello, Santa. Oops, I mean his deputy. I found a letter addressed to Santa Claus. Since you're replacing him now, it belongs to you. I'm busy! Hey, your job is to give gifts. Get to work fast. Hey, I am actually your boss. My boss is Santa, and you're just a substitute. Get to work. Okay, give me your letter already. I'll deliver a gift to this sender. Who sends paper letters now when there's email? Traditionally, the letters were handwritten. We are obliged to answer it. Okay, all right. Who wrote this? Mikey and JJ from the orphanage? It's not easy for kids these days. They didn't get a present? That's terrible. I'll get to work ordering them right away. These orphans will not be left without attention or a gift. Hey, you, quickly prepare two of the coolest gifts ever. Is that the least you can do? And get me some coffee, too, and hurry up. No coffee, you insolent secretary. I'll make the best presents. Santa Claus's elves will try to make the children happy this holiday. What do you mean, no coffee? How brazen elves are these days? Now I know why Santa got tired of working all this time and took a vacation from them. They can't even serve coffee. And I gotta get to JJ and Mikey's. Never done this before. Ah, oh, it's so cold to walk around outside in such a short skirt. Never mind, let's get to work. I've never delivered my own gifts to my kids, and I'm going to fly to them on this sled. How am I supposed to drive it? I don't even have a driver's license. I wonder if you need a license to drive a reindeer sled. Maybe not. Santa Claus didn't tell me that. Oh, these reindeer are smart enough to take me on their own. I hope they know where we're going. Oh my god! That's so high! I'm afraid of heights! I'd rather go by car! No! I'm gonna be sick! Three hours later. At least in this 
orphanage we are fed properly. Yum, 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 of course. The food here is delicious. It would have been better if we had been given a gift. Hey, what are you guys doing here? We're eating. Don't disturb us. It's nighttime outside. It's time for you all to go to bed. Did you even see how dark it got outside? No, nope, we didn't. And if I don't want to sleep? What did you say? You cheated us out of our presents. I don't care at all. Go to sleep. Everyone. Okay, okay, okay. You are so mean, aren't you? She told you she doesn't care about us or anything. Yeah, Mikey. Living in an orphanage is not easy. Everyone yells at us and bullies us. You two losers. You're also freaks. Hey, that's already hurtful. If I see you awake at this time again, I'll punish you. Okay, just don't insult us. You two stinkers. Go to bed now. Okay, JJ. I realized something. And what did you realize? Our kindergarten teacher is crazy. She likes to insult us specifically. I figured that out a long time ago, Mikey. Uh-oh. That's not nice. Oh, my God. There's a thief in our window. No, I am not a thief. I'm Santa's helper. We have to call the police. Don't do this, please. She doesn't look like a robber. I'm not a robber. I brought you presents. Get me out of here already. What do you say to that, Mikey? We'll help her. Besides, she brought us presents. Finally. Hurry up. My butt's freezing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ow, 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 ow. You're hurting me. Wait, there's got to be another way. We can push you from behind. Oh, no. This is a bad idea. Pull yourself up. Okay, let's move on. Ay, 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 ay. Whew, that wasn't easy. Thank you, kid. You could just come in the front door. They wouldn't let me in dressed like that. I have no idea why. Okay, I'm here for a reason. I have a present for you. You wrote a letter to Santa Claus, but he's on vacation. Here are your presents. Wow, they found our letter after all. Such big presents. The other children were given small boxes. Thank you so much, Lady Santa. Thank you. You are so cool. Oh, what cute babies. Giving gifts turns out to be so nice. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, of course. The giveaways are mega cool. Thank you. That's great. Then I must get on with my work. Back out the window? Hmm? Out the window? Probably not. I'll go through the door. I hope no one sees me. All right. Good luck, everybody. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. I hope you behaved well this year and will behave the same way next year. Bye-bye, sweet babies. Bye-bye, Mrs. Santa. Bye-bye. Thanks for the gifts. You see, Mikey, now we have some super cool gifts. I can see that. I should have whined and been such a bad boy all this year. Now I'm going to be on my best behavior, so I'll definitely get more presents next time. That's right, Mikey. But the greatest gift of all is having you around. JJ is my dearest brother. Oh, I love you, Mikey. Friends, like this video. Subscribe to our channel. What kind of Christmas gift would you like to get? Write about it in the comments. Bye-bye.